In this next pattern, this pattern is combination of last two programs. If you check it carefully, this program is part of two patterns that we have already seen. So this is nothing but the combinations of two program. So this first for loop is to print this part and the second for loop is for printing this part. I have already explained you these two programs in detail in previous videos. So I'll strongly encourage you to try this program by yourself so that you get clear understanding of pattern programming. Only important thing to notice over here is that suppose user has entered five. So these are five rows. However, here are four rows. So in the second for loop, I have initialized I to n minus one, that is five minus one, which is four. So that is why number of iteration will be four in this case. And here it will be five. That is the only important difference comparing to the previous programs. The rest of everything is same. In the coming videos, we are going to take a few more examples related to patterns. But this time, instead of spatial symbols like star, we are going to use characters, spatial symbols, ASCII characters and numbers.